MLA, parenthetical documentation, is the documentation that is used now inside your paper. We no longer use footnotes, no longer use endnotes. For MLA, the standard is internal documentation in parentheses. There are four rules you need to remember. First, every quotation gets its own citation. doesn't matter if you use the same source when you quoted the second time. It gets its own quotation. Second, every paragraph which contains any summarized or paraphrased information has to have a citation at the end of the paragraph. Again, it doesn't matter if it's the same source you used in the last paragraph. This paragraph needs a citation too. Number three, every time you change sources, you have to document the last source before you start the next source. That way we know where the information came from. And finally, citations must match the format in your text. There's absolutely no creativity allowed. It's got to be the exact same way as in your Writing Matters book or your other handbook. Every comma, every period, it all means something. For punctuation on a parenthetical note, when you're using it with a quote, the quotation mark goes before the parentheses. In the example, the Civil War determined our economic status today, quote, parenthesis, colon 42, parenthesis, period. All other punctuation for paraphrases and short quotes goes after the parentheses. Nearly one in three women will be raped this year from Barnes 322, parenthesis, period. But, just to be difficult on long quotes that are four or more lines typed in your writing, the punctuation goes before the parentheses because you do not use quotes. You set that block quote up by going in ten spaces from the left, and there's no quotation marks. And then you have the example on the bottom of this slide. This is done to really drive students crazy as they try to remember all the rules and still pass their courses. As a result of the silly rules like this, many give up on college educations and seek jobs as nannies and busboys. Period. Ross 3. Here are some examples of what your paper material should look like. In a paragraph with general information, which does not need a citation, and a quote, it would look something like this. Most moviegoers enjoy high adventure and action. Still, Dr. Barnes states this constant need for adrenaline rush and the movies that feed it are harmful to our health. Quote, citation with is only the page number because we use Dr. Nar Barnes in the paragraph and then parenthesis period. The next one is paraphrase with or without general information. So long as the paragraph is just containing paraphrases or summarized information, you can wait till the end of the paragraph. In the example, one of the reasons so many people enjoy action movies is their need for adrenaline according to recent research period. However, comma, doctors are expressing concern that this high may be harming us. Barnes 231, period. In this case, you use the author's name because it's not mentioned in the paragraph. More examples. Suppose you're mixing quotes and paraphrases, which is really what you're going to be doing when you write your research paper. You've got to cite that quote, cite the paraphrase separate, even if they're the same source, because every quote gets its own note, and then every paragraph needs citation for the other material that's not in the quote. So look at the example. Most moviegoers enjoy high adventure and action. Still, Dr. Barnes states this constant need for adrenaline rush is harmful to our health. And there's the page number. That's for the quote. Barnes feels that movies that supply this need are dangerous as well. That's still Barnes's idea. You need another note. 231. If you look at that quote, you see that there's some dots and some changing. Those ellipses and the changes of words are things you do to make that quote work with your sentence. That's also in your handbook. Finally, changing sources. Suppose that you've got a paragraph that for whatever reason you've got to use three or four different sources in it. You've got to cite each one before you go to the next one. So recent studies on child abuse find that the majority of children suffer multiple forms of abuse. That came from Clement, 31. Girls are also more likely to suffer sexual abuse while boys are more likely to suffer physical abuse. That came from an article with no author, gender, in